Roasted acorn squash with quinoa and pistachios is one of my absolute favorite meatless fall time mains. Really simple to make. Take four small acorn squash and just have them. Now these acorn squash come in two sizes, regular and super adorable. So if you find the really small ones at the farmer's market, definitely grab those. They will delight your guests to no end. Remove the seeds. I like to just use a regular kitchen spoon for this. And don't toss these seeds. These are really, really delicious roasted. Great snack. Just toss them with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, whatever seasoning you like. I'm really into smoked paprika these days. And roast them at about 400 degrees until they're nice and toasty and crisp, which is usually around 20 minutes. One of the reasons I absolutely love our winter squash friends is that they're so bright and colorful. They're also really filling, and they have a nice natural sweetness. Rich in vitamin C, high in fiber, they will make you feel full all day long. Brush each half with a little bit of olive oil, and then season with salt and pepper. Transfer the prepared squash to a sheet pan and place them cut side down. You're gonna get a really nice caramelized edge on this cut surface and it's also gonna help steam them to cook them. Bake these at 425 until they are very tender, about 15 to 20 minutes. Mmm. While the acorn squash cool a little bit, I'm gonna work on the filling. What I did here was cook one cup of quinoa. One cup of quinoa cooks in two cups of water for about 16 minutes. Super simple, we've done it a thousand times here. So I have my quinoa already cooked. Take half a cup of picked parsley leaves, just sort of roughly chop them. I find the parsley gives a really nice, fresh, bright flavor, nice texture as well. Into the quinoa it goes. Now I'm going to add half a cup of roasted salted pistachios, one of my absolute favorite nuts. Not only does it have a beautiful color, awesome texture, really great flavor, and just sort of leave the chop rough. Okay, that's good. So add the pistachios to the bowl. And to this, add half a cup of feta cheese. Now I love using feta. I'm just gonna sort of crumble this in with a fork. Adds a nice creaminess, a nice brightness. Gorgeous. Now for the vinaigrette, add two teaspoons of red wine vinegar. Just kind of drizzle that in. And top it with about two tablespoons of olive oil. Season with a little salt. You can either go for pepper, red pepper flakes. I'm gonna go for red pepper flakes. Adds a nice color, nice amount of heat. And give it a toss. I let my quinoa here cool a little bit. If you use really warm quinoa, it'll start to actually melt the feta a little bit if you're looking for a little bit more melty consistency. Okay, let's fill the squash, my favorite part. Just flip these guys over using a spatula and then fill with a generous spoonful of our filling. This is a great make-ahead lunch option if you want to pack it for the next day as well as a really, really satisfying main course option. You get the idea here. Let's taste. It smells so wonderful. Can't wait to try this. It smells delicious. It smells like fall. Mmm, really tasty. Make this one of your go-to meatless mains this fall.